Welcome to my epiphysical channel. Here I intend to share the knowledge that I have gleaned about epiphysics through many years of unique and original research. But what is epiphysics? Epiphysics is a word I coined to describe an area of scientific exploration that is currently emerging into the collective consciousness of humanity. I call it epiphysics because it is larger than physics. It is based on the understanding that physics emerges out of a phenomena that is undeniably real. Indeed, when properly contemplated, one can see that this phenomena is the foundation of what can be considered real. There would be no reality without it. However, it is not normally considered physical, and physics cannot even begin to explain it. That phenomena is consciousness. Physicists have a saying. Everything is physics. What they mean by that is that many generations of scientists have observed the world meticulously and in great detail. The best minds available have applied the scientific method with discipline and dedication and have developed an understanding of how everything works, which is now called physics. They have checked physics carefully and have confirmed that Within the limits of their ability to observe, it does indeed describe how things work. Even though they admit that physics is not perfect and is not yet complete, they are constantly pushing the boundaries of their understanding and refining their observations so that eventually they will arrive at their holy grail, a consistent theory of everything. In acronym form, this is known as a TOE or TOE. Since they have looked at the world and how it works with such painstaking discernment and continue to do so, many physicists are confident that when they have worked out the TOE that they seek, it will indeed describe the behavior of everything. In other words, everything will be physics. The concept of a physical toe excludes a whole host of phenomena which seem to oppose the idea that everything is physics. These fall loosely into the category of metaphysics. A lot of scientists label such ideas as unscientific nonsense. However, the validity of that argument has been unravelling for over a century. Now it is literally coming apart at the seams, even though most scientists dogmatically refuse to acknowledge the fact. I think they cling so hard to this old view of the world for two reasons. Firstly, they make the epiphysical mistake of imagining that they are their worldly avatar. Thus, anything that threatens its authority and prestige seems to threaten their very identity. Secondly, I think they fear that if they give a nanometer of ground, science will fall apart under a torrent of woo-woo BS. Neither of these fearsome imaginings is true, however. There used to be two competing schools of thought about evolution. There was Darwin's idea that an organism's inherent characteristics are fixed and that evolution weeds out those organisms which embody characteristics less suited to survival in their current environment. Then there was Lamarck's idea that an organism's characteristics are not fixed and that its environment and behaviour work upon it gradually to change its characteristics which it can then pass on to its offspring. When the existence of genes and DNA were discovered, they seemed to confirm Darwin's idea and contradict Lamarck's. However, now that we have discovered epigenetics, 
I think we can see that the truth is a combination of both Darwin's and Lamarck's ideas. Similarly, a true toe is a combination of both physics and some aspects of metaphysics. I have coined the name epiphysics for this all-inclusive understanding. In subsequent videos, I will develop an understanding of epiphysics in detail. Because epiphysics is a science of everything, that will not be a small task. In key places, said development will require a certain amount of scientific rigour. However, it is my intent to keep my videos as simple and comprehensible as possible, so that the information I will share will be accessible to the average layperson. I see this information as being of extreme importance for the well-being of humanity. By reuniting science and spirituality, it not only transforms physics and explains how and why valid areas of metaphysics work, but also provides a functionally empowering ethics and a moral compass to help us extricate humanity from the existential wilderness in which we currently find ourselves languishing. In my next video, I will start by pointing out the correlation I have uncovered between physics and a certain area of metaphysics. Although this area of metaphysics is actually a science in itself, it is generally considered a pseudoscience. In my opinion, the correlation I have uncovered not only establishes it as a proper science, but also goes much, much deeper by acting as a key to an understanding of epiphysics, it reveals how the universe works at a fundamental level. The animation that has been playing throughout this video is a clue to the identity of the area of metaphysics I am talking about. It depicts the correlation of the physics and metaphysics. I will leave things there for now. Thank you for your attention.